Cave here. Chariots, just a heads up. If it seems like you're walking faster than light, you're probably in a universe where light doesn't haul nearly as much ass as it does on Earth-1. The lab boys say if you insist on walking faster than light, you are 100% going to go back in time. How far? Far enough to meet your great-great-grandfather and tell him you're fired. Because guess what? I'll let you finish that thought. <laughs> okay, so the lines from Cave are, as always, amusing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode, um... What is it? Eight now of BA's perpetual testing. It's May 25th as of this recording, and this looks to be in the style of Portal 1. I'm liking it. I'm liking it all. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so first things first, just uh, things I'll notice. We'll have to be both placing and removing speed gel, but only in this room. Oh no, stop it. I don't want this ball to be. Accelerated? What does this trigger, anyway? Oh, some sort of platform. Well, first off, let's get some speed gel right over there, shall we? Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, wrong portal. My bad. Alright, more speed gel here. And a bit more... Can I put it from the roof? Oh, here we go. He's got a nice place for you to plant it. I like this guy. Things ahead. Very nice. Alright, then let's also place some there, 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 and there. Alright, we've got a nice, easy-to-use system to transport ourselves around this area. But, first things first, I'm gonna need to put my portals in the correct places if I want to be flying around. So, let's just find out what's up here. It's a cube. Alright, fair enough. Now, how do I get it out? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to. In fact, I think I'm going to need to aim lasers from within this room, but later. Not right now, because if I were to do that right now, well, things would just get a little bit confusing, wouldn't they? That's right, they would. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? We've got some sort of... whoa. Okay, so lasers, an important part of this test chamber, and of course an important part of daily testing on a regular basis. I mean, you just can't really have a great test chamber without a couple of lasers to go with. And the fact that we've got some more acceleration here leads me to believe that there's going to be some way we can lower that field. Because if we do lower that field, well, naturally it's going to be a bit easier for us to... Is that really all there is to it? I can just put the ball on this... That's incredibly simple. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. All right, forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, for missing the obvious. Okay, so now we can pull this out, which will give us a couple of options here. First things first, what does this one do? Oh, come back. There you go. Alright, that does nothing without the associated lasers. Cool. Acceptable at the very least. Now, let's go ahead and get a portal here, shall we? Oh. Okay, well, let's fire it directly at a portal at the very least. There we go. Now, let's find some place where we can put that that would trigger something. Like right here. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to need that eventually to go ahead and lift that platform, but first thing first, I'm going to want to get some speed gel. Yes, it's that time. We are going to just absolutely coat the floors with this speed gel and make sure that we can make our way across that jump without too many issues. But naturally, we want to make sure that it is a nice and safe jump for us first. So, I'm just going to place as much gel on the floor as I can. Try to coat this place. I'm not going to be going left or right, but if I do, you damn well better believe that it is going to make sure that I continue my acceleration. Oh, there's a little bit uncovered at the end there. I'm going to rectify that. There we go. Alright, look at this. It's just a wonderful little run and jump experience, isn't it? So, second thing is we're going to need to get that laser going. Because right now, obviously, we just have a laser firing into the floor, but if we do that, there we go. Just kind of accelerate our way across. Yeah, there we go. Nice hops. Oh, and some gel pre-placed for us. I'm liking this. But what do we need to do with it? Well, first things first, we're going to have to jump. And then we're going to need some bounce gel. All right. So this guy just keeps giving us access to cooler and cooler toys. Oh. Wait. Does it not stay? Oh, it doesn't stay. That's an issue. Well, I guess I'd better be ready for it then. Place my portals correctly, and then BAM! How you like that? Bounce gel right at the end of the path. We don't even have to worry about it anymore. Alright. Test actually fairly testy thus far. 
I don't actually mean that like it is testy as in the whatever it's called, verb, adjective, something. Uh, yeah, it would be an ad adjective in which something is difficult to work with. No, I merely mean this test is testy as in it shares many of the qualifications with an average test. That is to say, it's actually, uh, well, interesting. I mean, what do you want? It's interesting. That's really all there is to it. All right, so, place this cube on here. That's one of the three taken care of. And then we're going to go ahead and... We're going to have to figure out a way to get this laser boat through there and onto that button, which I think is fairly easy. We're just going to put a blue there, an orange there, and then we're going to fire it through the blue portal. Into the orange one. There we go. And then it also appears that we're going to need... All right, so before I go ahead and activate all that, I'm going to need to take this ball from this area to the next area since there's not much else we're going to need to do with it. So, fairly easy. We're just going to... Ow! Damn laser. All right. So that cube is taken care of. So, just uh, one portal there, one portal there. There we go. Then we're going to take this cube. Our cube. It is a spherical cube. It is a sphere that one day aspires to be cube-like. Or perhaps it was a cube that one day aspired to be sphere-like and accomplished its objectives. Either way... I think we've completed that test pretty quickly today. Sorry folks, looks like this episode of Perpetual Testing isn't going to take quite as long as it used to, but quite the cool map, Eed Slash, you are a cool guy and you deserve those 17,000 positive ratings. Or 17,000, prop uh, with a rating like that, I'd say you probably got about 15,000 positive ratings. Maybe there, were th there was that one 10% that just dissented and said that they didn't like a map that was cleverly done, well put together, and really advertised its purpose as well without making them overly obvious. But hey, you can't please everyone. So, as always, everyone, this has been PA. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next episode of The Perpetual Test.